China's third aircraft carrier, the Fujian, is definitely a big deal. It shows that their navy is moving from just hanging out near the coast to being a real blue water force. They even skipped over old school steam tech to use a fancy electromagnetic launch system, just like the newest US ships. But even with all that new tech, the Fujian is still a bit of a middleweight in a heavyweight world. It's about 20% smaller than the massive US Ford class carriers, which means it carries fewer planes and just can't get them into the air as fast as the Americans can. One of the biggest differences is what's under the hood. Every single one of the 11 US carriers is nuclear powered, but the Fujian still runs on regular fuel. That's a pretty big headache. It means the Fujian has to bring along a whole fleet of gas station ships just to keep moving. Those oilers are sitting ducks for submarines or missiles, which is a huge weak spot. Since US carriers can sail around the world at top speed basically forever without stopping, they have a massive advantage. Without nuclear power, China's carrier is pretty much stuck on a leash close to home. It's not just about having a shiny new ship, it's about knowing how to use it. The US Navy has been doing carrier stuff for almost 100 years. Managing a flight deck is like trying to land planes on a moving target in the pitch black or in a storm is incredibly tough. You can't just learn that from a book overnight. While China is doing its best to catch up, they're still in the learning to walk phase. The US has decades of been there done that experience that gives them a huge leg up when things get messy. A carrier is really just a big target if it doesn't have friends to protect it. A US carrier travels with a whole squad, destroyers, cruisers, and stealthy submarines, all working together as one big shield. China is building some great escort ships too, but they're still a bit behind when it comes to things like hunting for enemy subs. Plus, the US has specialized planes for electronic jamming and scouting that are already battle-tested. For the Fujian to really stand a chance, it needs the whole team to be ready for a real fight, and they aren't quite there yet. Finally, we have to talk about where they're playing. The US has a great neighborhood of friends and bases in places like Japan, Guam, and Australia. This makes it easy for them to keep several carriers in the region at once. 